I know people look at me now that I'm successful in the way I live, but I grew up in the ghetto. I grew up in poverty. Probably one of the worst places for a person to live in New Orleans at the time was the murder capital of the world, but one person that never got robbed, nobody never did nothing to was the insurance man. The insurance man come through the neighborhood, collect the money, and leave, right? Because they know the insurance man was going to be the ones to help bury your kids. Wow. And so think about this, y'all. How can we stop all these murders, crimes? I'm going to tell y'all how we do it. I'm going to tell y'all right now, New Orleans is the murder capital of the world right now. St. Louis, Chicago, right? So say, for instance, all those places have 400 murders. The way we stop it is with insurance. Because if, if we teach these people how to go get a million dollar policy at $50 a month, which we probably spending more than that, right? We do that at $50 a month. Come on. We are creating, if it's 400 murders in each one of them cities, that's a billion per two. Think about it, new millionaires that we created. So now we have to go to Wall Street. It's not about the police. It's not about the government no more. This is a money problem. Now we're gonna fix the communities. We're gonna save our kids, but now because we create more millionaires off of insurance policies that we're putting up. And so that's the mindset that we have to change. And people ask me, well, Pete, what are we gonna do about this because the police killing us, we killing ourselves? I say, we know we need to get some insurance. And so if we get enough policies, million dollar policies, we create all these millionaires and we get rid of crime because now it's a money problem. And they're going to fix the money problem. If we make $1.2 billion in just three states, man, imagine how much money that would be out there in the, in the millionaires that we will create That's off it. of these policies. Yeah. Insurance is the way to change the game. Because think about it, even on your house, you got to put insurance on your house. You got to put insurance on your car. You got to put insurance on your, everything, your phone, your family, everything. And so to me, that's why I said, that's why I'm here today, because I realized that once we know we have insurance, because think about this, right? So I'm in a ghetto. A guy hit my car. One of my friends jumped out the car and like, man, I'm about, I say, man, what is you doing? We have insurance. What is you so mad about? He said, P, you not mad? I say, no, I have insurance. <laughs> What you want me to get out and beat the guy up? Like for real? Like I have insurance. I'm, I'm going to get paid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Think about it. So y'all, why I was happy in the ghetto, right? I had a cousin that got, had, she, got, she got hit by a bus. And she was the happiest woman I ever met. <laughs> Every day she tell me, cuz, I'm rich. I say, no, you in the ghetto with me. She said, no, because I'm waiting on my money <laughs> from the insurance company. So I took that mentality. I'm a kid in the ghetto at six years old. They say, P, why are you so happy? I say, I'm waiting on my money. <laughs>